Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Cinemaric CNC instructional video series. Today, we're going to discuss archives, creating them, when to create them, and how to create them. So first off, how do we create an archive? Create an archive, quite simply, hit the menu select key, go to setup, hit the over arrow key, and then go to setup archive. Once we're in this screen, we can now create a setup archive or read in a setup archive. When you're creating a setup archive, you are creating an archive of the machine as it stands today. If I read in an archive, I am going to take my machine back to the state it was before. So to create a setup archive, simply select the create setup archive and then hit OK. I can now select which part of the machine I want to archive, the NC, PLC, drive, or HMI. With older controls, it's a best practice to save archive components individually. But with newer Cinemaric Operate controls, generally speaking, a complete archive is just fine. As a best practice, we still recommend saving individual archives. So I'm going to create an individual archive of the NC data. I'm going to add a comment describing when I created it. and also add a name within my manufacturer folder. So you'll see I have a full archive as well as my drive only, NC only, and PLC only. In this case, it's an NC only archive. That's it. I have now created an archive of my machine. You can use archives to compare your machine's current condition to a previous state, as well as saving your machine's condition as it stands today. Generally, we recommend creating an archive when your machine is functioning properly. So after you've gotten your machine from your OEM or importer, and they've helped you set up your machine specifically to your liking, and you're able to run production parts properly, great opportunity to create an archive. Additionally, before you're going to be doing any hardware changes, it's recommended to save an archive. If you need to read in an archive that has already been made, simply select Read In Setup Archive, and then select the file location. In this case, I can select my full archive and choose which components I want to include and read in. I don't have to read in them all, and I can selectively choose which, I, which parts. Again, archives are very helpful to communicate your machine's current position as well as to troubleshoot issues. Thank you for listening to this video, and I hope you enjoy working with your Cinemaric CNC machine.